Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Soul Standing. My name is Beth, and I am here today with my February wrap-up. So according to Goodreads, I read to completion 15 books in the month of February, as well as having DNF'd at page 288, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. But anyway, moving on from that catastrophe, I want to go ahead and let you know what I read in the month of February. Obviously, it's my wrap-up. The only thing is I don't have books to hold up and show you. Most of them were library books or audio books. So if you're interested in any of these books, I do encourage you to look them up or ask me to do a full review if I haven't already. All right, starting out, I listened to the audiobook for Allie Finkel's Rules for Girls, number one, Moving Day. This is by Meg Cabot. My daughter and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave it three stars. She gave it four. Next, we read Drum Dream Girl, How One Girl's Courage Changed Music by Margarita Engel. It uh, is a based on a true story type fable, I think. Uh, but we thoroughly enjoyed this as well and gave it four stars. I then completed the Pax Arcana book number three, Fearless by Elliot James. And gave this book, I believe, three stars as well. Then I read The Night Garden by Polly Horvath, which I gave three stars. You by Caroline Kepnes, which I also gave three stars. We listened to the audiobook for World at War, 1944, Magic Treehouse Super Edition number one by Mary Pope Osborne, and gave this a four and a half stars. Next, I read Kwame Alexander's Booked and gave that four and a half stars as well. Then I read Melissa De La Cruz's Alex and Eliza. I gave this two stars, was not impressed at all. Then we read Rainbow Magic, The Fairy Tale Fairies, number 152, Julia the Sleeping Beauty Fairy, and gave that three stars. Then we listened to the audiobook for The New Girl, which is Allie Finkel's Rules for Girls number two by Meg Cabot, gave this three stars as well. Then I read Skip Beat Volume One by Yoshika Nakamura, uh, my first manga ever, guys, and gave that three stars. I completed my reread of Sarah J. Moss's Throne of Glass, which is the first in a series of the same name. And I actually docked it a half a star. So originally I rated it four and a half stars, but gave it five stars on Goodreads and went ahead and dropped it down to four. It's four to 4.25. Really enjoyed it as much as I did the first time, but I've become more discerning in my reading lately. So, or in my rating lately, I guess. So it went down to four stars. Still really enjoy it and still do intend to move on with the second book in the series. Uh, once middle grade March Mystery Madness is completed. Then I completed Skip Beat Volume 2, again by Yoshiki Nakamura. I gave Volume 2 four stars. And then I completed Volume 3 and gave it four stars as well. And then just earlier today, we completed Balto of the Blue Dawn, Magic Treehouse, number 54. So those are the 15 books I've read in the month of February. Um, I am filming this on Tuesday night, February the 27th, so there is a slight chance that I will complete something tomorrow on the final day of February, but I highly doubt it. If I do, it'll be another Magic Treehouse book. I'll just throw it in with my March wrap-up. Those are the books I have. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have them to hold up for you, but those are what I completed in the month of February. I would love to hear from you guys about you read in the month of February. Um, if you are doing a wrap-up video, please feel free to link it in the comment section. Come join me on Goodreads so you can see what I'm reading and share with me what you're reading through that venue as well. I will talk to you again soon. Till next time, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And welcome to all my new subscribers. I see you guys sneaking in there. I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great week.